Okay, am I ready for this? I just guess that I have to be. So, hello! Today I am doing a Get Ready With Me. It feels like I'm only doing Get Ready With Me. And also talking to you about my favorites that I had for November. And no, it didn't came any favorites for October. Because October it was a shit show. I hate this October. Um, we had to put one of our cats to sleep, put her down, I don't know what to say in English. And uh, it, it wasn't a good month, like at all. And now November has been better. Um, so I'm going to do a makeup look with you, use some of my favorites. I mostly have like base favorites because it doesn't feel... Like, okay, I have used a lot of different palettes now in November and I don't, honestly, don't know which one is my favorite. So, I'm going to use the Secret Palette from Nabla just because I want to use Nabla more on my channel. So, I'm going to use this. I really like this palette. But, yeah. So, we're we just going to hop into this. <laughs> and... Uh, Prepare yourself. Just prepare yourself. But as normal, I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. But do I like ever know what I want to talk about? No, I do not. So maybe things is is just like normal. Okay, was this was so annoying? I'm going to talk about this highlighter, and it's always like. Get, I don't think you can see, yeah. Get stuck on palette like this. So okay, I'm just going to dig into this. I don't know if I'm going to write down in the description what colors I'm using because I'm just going to do something. I know what I want to do, but I don't really don't really don't know. <laughs> I I don't know what I want to start with. I think I start with this one. And okay. A little recap of my November maybe. November has been a lot for me. I am... Yeah, you are seeing this in the beginning of December. And as you may know, because I talk about this in like every video I do, I'm going to upload a video each and every day in December or I will at least try. I did get ready with me. I can link it up here where I talked a little bit about December and stuff like that. And I'm really going to try to have a video up each day in December. I really hope that I'm going to make it. As for right now, I might actually think it will happen. I shouldn't have taken this color. It's a bit late for that. But, okay, yesterday. I did record a Get Ready With Me first impression that you are going to see in about a week I think and a thing happened <laughs> that is like the first time it has ever happened to me my ca camera shut me off and one of the files files was corrupt and I couldn't save it save it or maybe I could but like I just don't have the time for that right now. So that get rid with me is going to be a little bit strange. Because first I was like, okay, I'm not going to upload this. But then I have to because I don't have the time to do this all over again. So yeah. Thinking though to put in like a little disclaimer and... Now you don't have no idea what I'm talking about because you haven't seen this yet. But I hope I will make it in some way so it doesn't is like too strange. I recorded that yesterday and yesterday when I was trying to edit the video and like the middle... Okay, this wasn't a good choice. I was like to my boyfriend, I like, okay, I give up on this shit now. I don't want to do it anymore. But... 
Yeah. I don't know how people deal with that kind of stuff. Like, it was the first time it happened and it wasn't like... I didn't talk about anything important because I never do. <laughs> so, yeah, but I was so freaking annoyed. And how is everything with you? Is everything okay? I am... Uh, I don't... I don't actually know how, how I am. I have honestly no idea. I don't know if I feel good. I don't know if I feel bad. I Like, right now it just feels like I am existing. At least for today. Maybe it feels better tomorrow. I have no idea. But for today, I'm just like existing. And I also, okay, this I have think a little, about, <laughs> little bit about in my December videos. As you might have seen, I think this is the fifth video I'm putting up. I have a schedule somewhere. <laughs> and as you might have seen, it's not that much of a Christmas themed. I do not have any like Christmas background music or something like that. And I have done that with intention. Because first of all, I know that not everybody celebrates Christmas. So, and also this year, because of everything that is happening in the world, I don't think that a lot of us will have a normal Christmas and I was like okay maybe my channel can be like a break from Christmas if you don't want it you can be here if you just want to have a video each day about makeup that is not Christmas themed I am here for you and I hope that you appreciate that I know that my some of my friends here on YouTube is going to have also a video each day and they might do more Christmas themed things I know that Annette is going to do is doing Annettemus and uh, she has like a Christmas background and I guess she will have some Christmas music but I just don't want to do that and I hope that you understand me. Hmm, what did I do there? And also I am not that like, <laughs> I always sound like the Grinch, but Christmas is, I like Christmas but not because it's Christmas, I like Christmas because I spend time with my family and I am off work and me and my boyfriend we actually celebrates our anniversary at Christmas we don't do anything but we do and I like Christmas because of that but yeah I don't know but at the same time I think Christmas feels more important to people this year because you can do like decorating and get some light into your life in this dark depressing times but I I it it doesn't feel like it's me to do a Christmas themed things and I hope that you <laughs> will appreciate that because I guess that some one of you might feel the same way I do yeah. I'm liking this, but I don't know if I want to do like a faux halo. Or maybe I can just put this over. I wonder how that will look. Because I think I want to take this play hard. This is like a duochrome. And I want to take it over, but I don't know if I want to have like halo or if I just want to try to put it on top. Or if I should cut my crease or something or if I should take a finger I don't like that but is anything happening here 
No, it does not. And how are you feeling? Okay, should I do this? I hate to do this, but okay. Okay, not a lot happened there either. But then the question is, how do I want, do I want to do a faux halo? I might do actually. I might actually do want to do a faux halo or do I want to have it just out here, in here? No, I think we're actually going to do a faux, a faux halo. So I need my faux halo brush. Faux halo. Everything I need to know. Take some NYX glitter primer, take it out of my hand, then I'm going to put it where I would like a halo eye to be. And I take a fluffy brush for this. And I'm just tapping it on and I think I'm going to take quite much. Not my entire lid, but big parts of it. And then I'm actually going to dip this brush in, even though I have some glitter glue on it, and maybe not, maybe I should take another brush. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I do like what I'm doing. Um, What did I talk about before this? I talked about Christmas that I don't want do Christmas themed things because not everybody's celebrating Christmas or maybe somebody is tired of Christmas don't want to think about Christmas how can I not remember what I was talking about I don't know okay how do I feel about this I actually think I feel kind of good and I actually think that it's going to come up at least one more get ready with me now in December. I'm sorry if you don't like them, but I am going to do like a get ready with me plans for the next year. But I want to wait a little bit because I don't actually know my plans for next year yet. I have uh, no idea. Okay, I have some small ideas, but. I don't know and I am pre-filming a lot right now and it's going to be hopefully I will have some time to think about where I want to go with my channel because it feels like I want to change things up right now I don't know how I still want to do makeup content I still want to be cruelty free, but more than that, I don't know. And I still want to do colorful makeup. I'm just going in with the other matte, no, that dark shimmer and just try to blend this a little bit better. So hopefully I will be keep this up with pre-recording so I have some time to think about and then do we get read with me and talk about my 2021 2021 I it feels so strange to say to say it so yeah that is my plans so I really hope that you will like get read with me Okay, I do really like this. I don't know if it is that much of a halo, but I'm liking what I see. So I will take away this glitter glue before I mess everything up. <laughs> I will just take away the fallouts, fetch my things to do my eyebrows, and then we get started with the base. And there I have some new super favorites. So first out for my favorites for my face. I have a combo with a primer and foundation. And the primer is this Dewy Skin Primy, 
primer oil from Beauty Act that is a Swedish brand. I adore this one. I don't know if it's now because it's winter. Okay, I need to be a little bit concentrated. I take in my forehead and a drop of on each cheek and then I massage it in. I don't know if it is because it is cold outside that I really like it but together with the foundation that I'm so soon going to show you I just love this combo and okay so this needs to sink in a little bit and also I'm going to use another primer the only thing you get so like greasy on your hands so I often take a little towel and take try to take it away and for my nose I like to use this poreless powder primer I am pretty like oily on my nose and have pores so and the oil works but I think this works better and this also has to sink in a little bit so I don't know if I'm going to talk about something else while we wait or if I just should, should sit quiet I don't know one thing I've noticed now <laughs> when I have pre filmed a lot it is hard to like keep up with watching YouTube because I I love to watch YouTube but I have tried to film or edit each day now for like a week and uh, if I don't film I edit some days I do both and then I, I like don't know when I going to have time to watch because I also want to sleep more. And you don't need to be worried about me that I'm going to stress myself out. I at least hope, but I don't think so. Okay, now I think it has sunken in a little bit. So the pri primer and foundation I've been loving to use with this oil primer is this Stay Naked from Urban Decay. I bought this, I think it was the summer. And I really like it, but then I started to get a little bit drier because it's colder outside and then this didn't work because I felt dry and it didn't look good, but then I bought the oil and now it looks amazing. And also, I love to use a brush now for this one. Who am I? I don't know. So this brush from Flair, it's a Swedish brand. This is the 108 foundation and concealer brush. I've been loving the foundation part but it's still like I really don't know how to do this the best way I think it is to like take my foundation out like this beep, 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 beep. and if you didn't know I have been a sponge person person for a long long time like forever but no with this brush, I like really start to understand what people mean when they say they love foundation brushes. Oh, I look nice. And one thing is you get a lot more coverage, I think, when you use a brush. So this brush, it doesn't work. I tried it with my skin wheel from... Um, NYX and that didn't look good. But with this foundation, it works uh, so freaking good. Do you see? Maybe I should have done half my face. I don't know. The one thing I feel is a little bit harder with brush is to have like a good, to have it good around your nose. I think that is easier than with a sponge than a brush, but hey. And it's not, I haven't like get used to how little you need to take the foundations. I always take a lot because a uh, sponge suck up some of the foundation, and now I look like a ghost. And I have noticed this when I put on my foundation, I need to change the settings a little bit with the camera because the, the exposure is not good. 
I hate that I haven't figured out like the best settings for recording yet, but that's just how it is. And okay, I am going to take a concealer. I'm just going to take away the foundation that I took too much of as normal, as usual. And my favorite concealer is still this one from the body shop. It's the Fresh Nude Serum Concealer. And on this brush, my new favorite foundation brush, it is a concealer part. I don't like that to my concealer, so I'm just taking my foundation brush. Do you see, do you see like the shimmer or the dewiness I get? I really like this. I'm going to set this because this is too tacky. So I'm going just to set this with a powder. And I know that now I look shit cray. This is the reason why I don't like to do my base on camera. But it is like I have no eyebrows. I just have really dark eyelids and nothing else. So it looks a little bit wonky. I'm just going to set this. So this is my little... Okay, we're just going to continue with the base. I have been loving this brush from Flare as well. Uh, this is the 203, 203, 203 Duo Contour Brush. I love this side most. And I think I've talked about this. I do not remember when. <laughs> but this is the little Kaleidos Contour Palette. I love this one. I have in cool and light. And I use this shade for my contour. And this has been the only thing that I've been using for a while. Like since I got it. This has been the one that I've used the absolute most. I just love the color. And I love that it isn't that pigmented. So you have to go in more than once. To get what you want and that I am that I really really love because I hate when the contour powder is like too pigmented so we are starting to get a little bit of a life back to this face when I was going to choose my favorite blush for November I actually choose an oldie but a goldie down by from the bomb I love this this is like perfection and if you wonder what I'm looking at I'm looking at Astrid she's sleeping here next to me she usually do that when I film she sleeps in the bed so, okay I am going to take away the Astrid hair I got on this and just take it and this I really love because you can have really light if you want that or you can just like slap it on so so much if you want to you can just build it up and build it up and I love that so this is like a day-to-day -day blush if I would use blush day to day <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying that or if I if I want something more and my favorite highlighter for November has actually been this Mars Melter. I haven't used it that much. I was like, okay, I don't like it. But now, I think it was when I had my Kaleidos week. I used it and then I just have can keep, keep kept using it. And I really do like it. This is the old one. I don't know why they did a new one. I have bought it, it is on the way home to me, but uh, I don't know because the new one doesn't look at this as this one at all and I think it's a little bit strange to do like a complete different color when it's like a new formula, but yeah. If I would have gotten it, I would have shown you, but I don't have it yet. And I have had this for like maybe a year and I have, oh, okay, here I got too much. I haven't been that fond of it 
until now. I don't know why. Oh my god, I got this side is good. This side is a little bit too much. And should I do my brows on camera? I don't like to do that. But can I talk and do my brows at the same time? I don't know. And for my brows, I have actually one new favorite. I still love this brush. I talked about this in the video. But I'm still using the Anastasia Deep Brow Brow Powder Duo. Deep Brow. How to do in taupe. And I think I soon will hit pen in this one, so I'm trying to use it like on the edges, but it's a little bit hard. I actually wonder how long I've been using this one. I have no idea. It <laughs> looks it looks like this. So you see I have hit pan in the light shade and in the dark shade I think I soon going to be there as well if I don't start to use more on the edges and it would be fun to know how long I have had this. I actually don't know. Okay, and this product that I'm using now, this I have been really loving. This is from Beauty Act, a Swedish brand. This is the Beauty Act Fixing Fiber Brow Mascara in Blonde. Okay, I'm just going to spray my face a little bit. And I actually think that I am addicted to setting spray, but people that doesn't use setting spray, I don't get it because that is like the best thing. Maybe because it is, <laughs> maybe it's because I have a dry skin. It doesn't, it doesn't feel good to have like powder and everything and then don't put some moisture back to my face. Now, we're going back into the eyeshadow palette and I think I'm going to do the same underneath my eye. Maybe I want something a little bit more fluffier. And you know what? I don't know what I should talk about and are you surprised because I am not my get ready with me is always end up like this but maybe in this one I didn't have anything to talk about like ever it's going to be so fun to see what you think about my December videos I am doing some new stuff um, I think you have seen one video with it. Draw a lipstick. I really tried to come up with a better name when I did film the second part. I did not. So I really hope that you will like that and I hope that I could keep at least some of you company. I don't know but it's something about this palette that makes me love it. I have no idea what it is. I think the most of us has like a palette that you really like. With me, you really love it, but you don't know why. And I think I want to take this one, play hard in my inner corner as well. It's the one that I have as my faux halo. So I'm going to take this on and my little pinky and just put it in there. And it's like I like never um, spray a brush and take an inner corner highlight anymore because I think this works so good. And you know what? I love this. For my lower lash, I will go in with Fast Lane from Color Poop. Color Poop. Because I have a mascara favorite for you to share with you this month. Because I have actually bought a favorite of mine again. I bought Worth the Hype from NYX. I love this mascara. And 
the one I had was like a dried up. So I needed to buy a new one and I was like, okay, I am buying this again and why do I talk when I do this? I have no idea. And I know it doesn't look much to the world, but it's something about this that's just making me love it. So, and we're going to take a lippy for this. And I actually don't know what I've had for a lip favorite this month and now I can't find so I think I'm just going into my bag with red lipstick and pick something should I maybe take a Nabla okay I don't know if I want to take extra saucy from those of colors unspoken or rumors from Nabla this is a little bit more true red this is super dark red and this is in between This will look the coolest, but it's the most obvious because this is what I always do. So I did go with the darkest one. I did take Unspoken from Nabla. This is one of my absolute favorite lipsticks. I love the color and I love it together with a green eye. And you know what? That was all for this. As usual talky get red with me and my lips are a little bit uneven i'm going to do this that i always say to myself don't do it lisa and then i do it so yeah that was all for my get red with me my november favorites i hope that you have liked this video and i am hoping that you are liking my december my december 31 days red 31 days of red and I actually am a little bit nervous that maybe you think this is going to be so boring and what how how can I do such uneven lips this is bothering me so much right now hello overlined lips okay well well <laughs> I really hope that you're liking this video and I I actually don't know if I'm going to keep doing favorite videos for next year. I have no idea. I hope I will have time to think about that when I'm hopefully will have my planning for next year. In the end of this year, I really hope. And now a little girl is waking up over here. So yeah, I really hope you like this video and I hope that I will see you tomorrow actually. So yeah, bye.